revealed less than 1% of students tested came back positive. 994 students from 47 Ottawa schools took part in voluntary testing, revealing nine positive cases. Testing targeted not just neighborhoods with high rates of positivity, but also students who were exhibiting COVID-19 symptoms and those with high risk contacts. Back here at home, residents north of Steeles will move out of a stay at home order and into the less restrictive red zone category on Monday. York's medical officer of health is confident his region can manage variants of concern and has seen a consistent enough decline in cases and hospitalizations. Indoor dining, gyms and personal care services can all reopen with strict capacity limits in place. Non-essential stores can also welcome back customers for in-person shopping. Raw data on confirmed variants of concern and cases per 100,000 in Peel and Toronto reveal very few differences from where York Region currently sits. Dr. Lawrence Lowe and Dr. Eileen Davila maintain they need at least two more weeks to gauge how school reopening will impact transmission and get a better handle on how variants of concern are circulating in the community. The Premier agreed to let local officials dictate when their regions should reopen. The North Bay Perry Sound District Health Unit will also stay under a stay-at-home order despite many indicators that would place the region in the yellow protect tier. An outbreak at an apartment building with at least one confirmed variant of concern has the local medical officer of health taking every precaution necessary and North Bay's mayor agrees. It is right from the beginning of the pandemic that our citizens' safety was the number one priority. And, and yes, we put in restrictions uh, a little higher than maybe most uh, districts, uh, but we are very proud to be the lowest. Uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, we had the VOC uh, hit our doorstep, um, you know, because of international travel. And we've, we've taken the steps that we have since day one to keep our citizens safe. So um, I do support the uh, continued stay at home order here. Quebec is reporting 769 new cases of COVID-19. 14 new deaths were also reported. 10 of them came between February 13th and 18th, with the other four in the last day. The province is trending in the right direction with hospitalizations. There are currently 700 patients in hospital, and that's down 23. There are also 120 patients in intensive care. That's down by seven They've also administered more than 329,300 doses of the vaccine. COVID-19 restrictions along the Canada-US border have been extended once again. Land borders will be closed to non-essential travel for another 30 days. The partial closure will remain in place until at least March 21st. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says the ban on non-essential travel is needed to limit virus spread and keep people safe. The restriction was put in place during the first wave and has not been lifted.